I believe these two have been permanent healthy. Yes! Now, between a normal income and a crazy lack of income, which type of income do you want to have? Crazy! Crazy! You see, you cannot have what you're not willing to do. If you're acting normal, what kind of income do you think you can have? Normal. Is that what you want? No. no. So what kind of income do we really want to experience here in Kayani? Again? Some of you are looking at me and you cannot even afford to smile. <laughs> After all, I am not being paid to stand here in front. This is pure service. So, the last thing that you can do is when you, when I look at you, it's just smile. Nod your hand. Even if you're not listening to what I'm saying, just do this. After all, I'm sure that's how your uplines train you when you are being tied out on the field and your, your outline is the one doing the presentation your outline will say learn, don't do anything except none right? so are you guys ready to begin? yes! I like this problem <laughs> now question are you guys excited to learn and have fun at the same time? yes! Is it important for us to learn? Yes! Who among you guys were here during my very first training session here in Kayan? At that time, I was experiencing asthma and uh, runny nose, right? Yes! Can you now start to feel the difference? Yes! Right. Why is it important for us to learn? I believe when Albert Einstein said, we cannot solve our problems by using the same mindset we use when we created them. Do you guys agree? Yes. yes. So now, whatever income level you are enjoying, whether here in Kayani or in your conventional business or businesses, I am very sure you will agree when I say the same level of knowledge that brought you to your current income cannot be the same level of knowledge that will take you to the kind of income you want to experience. Do you agree? Yes! Your income will never grow faster than your growth. Are you getting it? If you want your income to grow, you must first grow. Right? So you're not just here to sit down, nod your head, and smile at me. You're not just here to learn. You are here to absorb as many things as you can because I can promise you when you take this module seriously, this can have a profound impact in the growth of your Kanyani business. Right? Do we have people from Mindanao? Yes! How about people from Visayas? We have two. How about people from the Northern Province? Northern Luzon? We have another one. Before I do, before I continue, I would like to also acknowledge the presence of uh, my friend, my brother, my partner from Nepal, yeah. Mr. Kiran Dangol. Yes. You are so busy taking pictures. I am going to expect that with these pictures that you will take, you can expand in Bangladesh, Indonesia, Nepal, and Hong Kong. Yes. He has organization already growing in four countries. Wow. Anyway, like what Ali said, my for those of you who are meeting me for the first time, 
My full name is Ferdinand Escobedo. Right? My friends, gentlemen, listen to this. My friends call me Bong. So you guys can call me Bong. Right? Ladies, you can call me anytime. <laughs> So are you guys ready to proceed? Yes! Like what I said, you're not just here to learn for your personal consumption. You are here to learn so that you can teach. After all, our business is a teaching business. Builder's mindset, please notice. It's not seller's mindset. It's builder's mindset. You are here to build your Kayani business. Is that correct? Yes. Whether you are selling your building. When you're selling, you are building your consumer group. Right? When you're sponsoring, you are building your organization. When you are learning, you are building yourself. You are building your knowledge. So, here in Kayani, we believe when you're not building, you're training. When you're not training, you're building. Do you agree? Yes. So, that's how it works. Builder's <laughs> mindset. Builder's mindset. Builder's mindset. I really believe things do happen for a reason. You know why? After all, repetition is the mother of all learnings. Yes. Right? So it has to be repeated, it's repeated several times so that you will be able to absorb. I am here not only to sell Kayani products, I am here to build. Correct? Yes. So why are you guys here in Kayani? Yes. To build! Why are you here in Kayani? To build! Right? Builder's mindset. See? <laughs> Ayan. Did you know, or are you guys aware that the words I am are two very very powerful words because when you place what you place after them becomes your reality right yes. so when you say i am a builder please do not just say it meaning have you ever experienced talking to a friend or maybe a sibling Right? And you wanted to get a yes as a response, right? They're actually saying yes to you, but you can't seem to agree because the tonality of their voice, their facial reaction, and their body language is not consistent to the yes that they are saying. Have you ever experienced that? Yes. Someone is saying, oh yeah, yeah, but you can't feel it. You're like, saying, you're like saying yes, but you're really saying no inside. Or have you, ever, have you ever experienced also that your mom, probably your parent, or your parents are like trying to tell you, I'm so mad at you. But you still can't believe because their facial expression, the way they're looking at you, is like communicating something else. Have you ever experienced that? They're saying, but you can't believe it. You know, you can't just you're getting a different message not consistent to the words right so when you say i am a builder please say it with conviction you're not doing it for me after all you're doing it for yourself you want yourself to be able to hear that so that you can imprint it in your subconscious brain Hello? Yes. The subscriber you're trying to call doesn't want to be rich. 
So can you please, can, can we all say this? I am a builder. I am a builder. Naramdaman nyo ba? Did you guys yes. feel it? Yes. yes. When you say, I am a builder, you don't need to shout as long as you're saying it with conviction. We have another foreigner friend here. Which country are you from? You are from Nigeria. My God, we are also very excited to build in the country. I am a builder. <laughs> okay, this control is not working. Maybe it's global. Okay. So this one is working properly. <laughs> right? Builders start with wood wood. <laughs> Builders start. Isa lang muna. Ibalik mo. Ibalik mo. Iwan. Huwag mo muna. Di labas na. Isa lang muna. <laughs> what happened to the <laughs> My two ladies are amazing, right? <laughs> okay. Builders start with a blueprint. Can you imagine talking to a contractor because you want to build your dream house? And your contractor asks you, what kind of a house do you want us to build for you? And you say, I don't know. I have no idea. Do you think you, they would be able to satisfy something that you don't want? You don't, you don't know you want? So when you say a blueprint has started, it's up to you. But it must be part of your blueprint. Like what, you know, have you heard of an author called Stephen Covey? Seven Habits of Highly Effective People? This is exactly what he's talking about. Before you start something, make sure you begin with an end in mind. Before you start, you must know your desired outcome, right? Like now, maybe you have a small organization, a medium-sized organization. You must know what would be an ideal income level for you. Do you know your ideal income level? No. You don't know? How about a million dollars a month? Yes. Yes. Yung iba kaya tanggapin ang utak, no? One million dollars a month. Yeah, I love it. Others are like saying, one million dollars a month? Sintax error, sintax error, system error. Musik na yung lahat ng buto sa katawan. Hindi kaya tanggapin, no? After all, I'd like to, I'd like to remind you this. When you talk about millions, multi-millions, when you talk about the amount of money that you want to make, these are just numbers. What's most important is your frequency. Para mas maliwala. What is another term for the word money? Okay, currency. Correct? Currency is what? Current. Correct? Current is what? Always. Energy. So what is money if not energy? Alright? Remember this. I'm sure some of you, if not most of you, have heard of the principle law of attraction. <laughs> Visualize. Attract. Right? This is a reminder. You don't attract what you want. You attract what you are. Right? You wanna make, you wanna experience making big money? Big money must start here. Right? That's the problem. Or that's the challenge. One thousand dollars! O kaya tanggapin, ano? Kaya tanggapin. So, builders start with 
in blueprint. Second, builders start with a vision. What is your vision? A vision is the art of seeing things invisible to others. Right? Before it actually happens, in your mind, it is already finished. So when you talk about your vision, in the next couple of months, how big do you see your Kayani business growing? Which part or which parts of the Philippines do you want to have your organizations growing? Do you also see your Kayani business growing in different parts of the world? Yes. What kind of profile? What what types of people do you want to see in your organization? What level of income do you see happening? Do you guys see this? What kind of a dream car will you get when you hit green time? Like Captain Ronald and Apply Book. Can you imagine it? No. Tayo nga muna. Tayo, tayo, tayo. Tayo! Tayo! Kasi parang, uh, ano ba, ganito bang, ganyan ba kayo na nasa convention kayo? Are you guys like that? No! Okay. Shake, shake, shake! Shake, shake, shake! Shake nyo muna yan! Busog ba kayo lahat? Busog? Sino sa inyo yung gutom? Okay. Okay, muna. okay lang yan, ilipas din yan. Di ba? O, oh, sige. Have a seat, please. I'd like to remind you, before I continue, I'd like to remind each one of you, this is not my training. This is our training. Right? It's just that we have different roles to play. My, my role is to be able to explain to the best of my knowledge and ability how these modules can help you grow your Kayani business. Your role is to participate, to get involved. It's the last thing that we all want to happen is I'm asking questions and you guys are just looking at me like zombies. <laughs> and that? Right? Can you imagine? I mean, vision. Visualize yourself standing here in form. You're exerting efforts and energy and you're sharing the things that you know that can benefit and add value to others. And these people are just, and I'm just looking at you like this. No reaction. The more that we have a problem. Right? The universe will not give you anything you're not ready to handle. So the last thing that you want to happen is for you to say, I am overwhelmed with the amount that Kayani is offering. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you say, I am overwhelmed, it's like you are declaring, I am not ready yet. Are you getting my point? Yes. So you must have a vision. I remember uh, when I was building my organization in my very first MLM company, I see other groups, they do modular trainings, they do boot camp type of a training, they do dream building type of session. I said, I want to have something so unique that is exclusive for our team. I launched, because of my vision, I launched my very first family day. Right? Would you like to know how many attended? Yes. Three, including me. <laughs> one on the left, one on the right. Three people. 
I say, this is our very first family day. In this family day, every single word that you will mention related to our business, you will be penalized 50 pesos per word. This will never be called a family day if we are still going to talk about business. In our family day, it is an opportunity for all of us to get to know one another on a personal level. Anyway, that was my first family day. After a month, here comes a second family day. We held it in one of the rest house of one of my partners somewhere in Tagaytay. Uh, the house can only accommodate about 10 people. So we brought tents with us. We pitched tents. And then we also brought inflatable swimming pools for our kids. So that our kids can bond. Would you like to know how many attended? Yes. First family day, three. Right? Second family day, 20 families already. Oh. And in front of that 20 families, I have shared my vision. I said, a day will come when we will be invited to travel different parts of the world. Not to do business opportunity meetings, not to do trainings, but to attend family days happening worldwide. That was the vision. Third family day, we already have buses. Motor key. Right? It didn't happen because somebody taught me how to do it. It happened because I have taken the time to imagine what kind of an organization do I see growing in the future. That is the power of having a vision. Right? Now, when you talk about blueprint and vision, you're talking about the things you want. Correct? Yes. It's not enough. You see, majority of people today are stuck in the rut because they don't know what they want. You understand what I'm saying? So when you know what you want, you are already ahead of majority of people. But you see, it's not enough for you to stay there. Knowing what you want is just the first step. The second step, which is actually most crucial, is that you must know why you want these things to happen. What you want and your reasons why you want these things to happen. In reality, reasons first, answers come second. You must know your reasons. That's why it says, Compelling reason. Compelling means a forceful reason that makes you act or makes you do something. Diba? Meron na kayo napanood? Uh, have you ever seen that television commercial about some, some brother? Ano ang nagpapagising sa'yo sa umago? Parang ganun? What's that? Ah, yun. Insurance. Pinan lang. Bakit ka gumigising parang ganon? So, what is your compelling reason? Why are you doing kaya ni? Right? Do you know your reasons? Are your reasons really, really important to you? Yes. Are your reasons a matter of life and death? Yes. Or it's something you can still afford to delay? Oh. You know, when you talk about compelling reasons, before my first exposure to MLM, my ori only orientation in life is to climb the corporate ladder. Right? So, um, my basic goal every year is to be able to deliver good performance as far as my responsibility is concerned because twice a year we have performance evaluation. And I know when I hit outstanding as a level of rating, I will be a candidate to be promoted to the next level. Right? 
So when I encountered network marketing, I did it part-time for three years. And then one day, I have experienced that my part-time income is I'm making more money than my part-time business as compared to my regular job. That was the only time I considered leaving my corporate career. But I would like to share this with you. I did not leave my corporate career because there is no future. I was at the peak of my momentum when I quit. So when I spoke to my, to my father, about my decision of leaving my corporate career to do MLM full time. Right? My dad said, My son, do you have any idea how many people would love to be in your position and you're gonna leave it just like that? I said, Dad, first of all, I would like I would like to tell you I am not asking for your permission. I am just informing you. I am already 32. Right? We're not talking about your future. We're talking about my future and the future of my generation. So I told my dad, Dad, I'd like to congratulate you. Because up to me, you have created a generation of successful employees. I would like to change the course of my generation. So I am doing MLM not just to make money. Money is good. But I'm sure you will agree when I say there are more important things than money. I am doing MLM. I want to be successful in Kayani because I am committed to my dad. I will change the course of my generation. I want to create a generation of entrepreneurs. You must know your reason. Right? So why are you here in Kayani? Wala lang. Wapo kasi ng speaker eh. <laughs> so why are you here in Kayani? Bored kasi ako sa work ko eh. So I'm just looking for something, you know. <laughs> shallow. Right? Pag mababaw ang, when your foundation is shallow and you get hit by a strong wind, guess what's gonna happen to you? You'll quit? No, it's not like that, you know? This is the process. Your upline will test you, your tell your upline, I'm busy upline, I cannot attend today. The following day, your upline will text you, okay, I am upline, I can't make it, my head is, you know, my head is painful. The next week, the upline will tell you, my will call you, you will text, upline, I can't come today, my shoulders are painful. And then after a week, your upline will call you, oh, why are you thinking that this is a very, very good thing? Mom, upline, I can't attend again, my whole body is painful. And then the next year, you're in the hospital. That's the one of the process. Another process, you keep on saying you're tired, you're tired, you're tired, you're tired, eventually you'll get burnout. After burnout, that's when weeping happens. Right? So you must know your compelling reasons. This is one of my favorite quotes by Steve Jobs. When you're working on something exciting that you really care about you don't need to be pushed your vision pulls you so when you have a clear vision will you wait for your offline to ask you to attend trainings when you have a clear vision will you wait for your offline to push you to set appointments no i am very fortunate because i the, the, the people who sponsored me here in Kayani are very, very respectable people. But I don't wait for Cookie or Top to remind me every single day that I need to wake up with enthusiasm and do my Kayani business. After all, I am not doing this for them. I am doing this for my future and the future of my daughter. After, my daughter is my world. So, your vision must be very exciting. That every time you think about it, you're like in love. You know, you're blue. When you look at people's eyes, they'll say, What hit you? Why is it that your eyes are twinkling? Are you guys in love with your Kayani business? Yes! 
that's the spirit. Builders build organizations. Tama po ba yan? Yes. Yes. We are in the business of building and growing organizations. Sponsoring. Can you guys say this? Sponsoring is the foundation of building. Sponsoring is the foundation of building. In other words, sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. New blood is the lifeblood of your organization. Yes? Yes. So when you know that new blood is the lifeblood of your organization, why will you pass that responsibility to your downlines? You must take the lead. Right? Build them to become leaders of the future. But this is the question. How do you build your people to become leaders of the future? How? You need to train them. Do you now see why you need to train yourself first? Yes. You need to train yourself so that you can pass that knowledge to your people. How many of you here experience making money in Kayani? Sino nyo na merong kinita sa Kayani? Regardless of the amount, maybe 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, regardless of the amount, this is my question. With the amount of money you have experienced to earn in Kayani, regardless of the amount, how much did you allocate for your personal growth? Ouch! Sabi parang vintage. Diba? You must allocate an amount. A budget for your personal growth. Either you buy books, you buy audio books. You see, every single day when I go to prospects, when I go to meetings, I always bring my car with me because it's more convenient. But when I'm inside my car, and especially when I'm stuck in traffic, I rarely listen to radio or to music because my car is my university. Regardless of the number of times I have listened to a particular material, I will keep on listening to it, I will keep on listening to it, I will keep on listening to it, because at the end of the day, learning is not enough. If you want to grow a huge organization, you must learn to master your business. You must love learning. Yes. Do you guys love to learn? Yes. It's fun to learn. Because the more knowledge you have, the more confident you will be. Right? The more confident you are, the better market you will attract. A builder's team must always focus on strong recruits and strong sales to grow influence. This is what we call the Pareto Law. Are you guys, who among you guys are familiar with the Pareto Law? Pareto Law meaning 80-20. What does it mean? You spend 80% of your time to the top 20% of your network responsible for bringing 80% of your volume. Am I clear? Yes. You spend 80% of your time to the top 20% of your network responsible for bringing 80% of your volume. Right? But sometimes, this is the thing. Because the leaders, sometimes, no? The uplines are so focused on maybe volume or sales that they are neglecting to spend quality time with their top generals. Right? That's something that I have learned as a solid reminder 
You know, when you talk about developing people, you're talking about building relationships. Solid relationships. Take time to get to know them more than the Kayani business. Because if your relationship is just purely Kayani business, your relationship is shallow. That's why 29 days every single month, I am out in the field presenting, training, training, presenting, presenting, training, training, presenting. But once a month, I go give it with my top channels. We celebrate. We build relationships. We party. You know, you play hard, you party harder. It's like that. <laughs> yeah, but you'll get burned out if you don't have fun, if you're not having fun. And this is another thing. Did please when you're when you find this just to clear things, when you find my teachings conflicting to what your uplines are teaching, always go back to your uplines. You understand what I'm saying? I am not here to tell you what to do. I am sharing things that can possibly add value to you. This is another reminder. Sometimes, or at times, leaders are very quick to call for emergency meetings when there are problems. Cash blast! Come to the office now! Urgent! But, they're not so quick to text plus celebration. You understand what I'm saying? There must be a balance. When you're quick to call your downlines for an emergency meeting, especially when you're addressing issues, you must be quicker to invite them for a surprise celebration. Do you guys love surprises? Yes. Who among you guys love surprises? Yes. That's true. not correct. <laughs> You love surprises you like. The surprises you don't like, you call them problems. Yes. Make sense? Yes. Right. Are you guys learning? Yes. Are you guys enjoying this? Yes. With me? Yes. Thank you. If you consistently have recruits and sales but produce no leaders, Growth will be temporary. I'm sure some of you have experienced that in the beginning. You have experienced massive momentum because eh, Kayani is very new. Right? But instant momentum is like this. A straight road will not produce a skillful driver. So, the reason why growth at times can be temporary is simply because the leaders immediately thought retirement, freedom. But it's not like that. Even in conventional businesses, before the fifth year, 80% close. Right? Going to the tenth year, only 10% are open. Right? Now, when you encounter initial failures in Kayani, your organization, one day, you have 200, 300 people. When you woke up, you only have two. Right? You only have three. I agree with Bill Gates when he said, success at times is a lousy teacher. Because it makes people think that they cannot fail. But there goes the difference between losers and winners. Right? Losers quit when they fail. Winners fail. And they keep on failing until they win. So you choose. Do you want to be a winner? Or... <laughs> like that. When I say invest on things that will help you develop yourself. Please, am I, am I allowed to 
in the absence of me not knowing anyone, can I continuously use myself as an example? Kasi hirap, no? Hindi ko makilala kayo lahat. So I, I, I really don't know what example to use. So when I'm using myself as an example, it doesn't mean that I am boasting or something. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's just that I, I, I can talk about it with more conviction because I am referring to my personal experiences. Number one. When you talk about personal development, today, I can say I have more than 700 books on different subjects. You talk about business, you talk about personality development, you talk about leadership, you talk about network marketing. So that now, when I am developing people to become leaders of my organization, I can lend them books related to MLM. How can you have a competent team if they're not even familiar with the industry today and where the industry is going. Let me educate you a bit by sharing this information. When you talk about network marketing, it has gone through several waves already. The wave one of network marketing, you're talking about moms doing house parties. You talk about Tupperware, you talk about Avon, you talk about all these demonstrations happening in different houses because the moms are the ones hosting. Right? That was the first wave. The second wave, here comes regular employees looking for additional source of income. Right? The third wave, going to the fourth wave, you are talking about Fortune 500 corporate professionals shifting from Fortune 500 America to MLM. But when you're not aware of this way, you are still stuck to either way one or way two. You see, when you talk about the wave of change and you don't ride it, two things can happen to you. You either find yourself behind it or beneath it. You choose where do you want to be. When you listen to Kirk Hansen's message last convention, he said, speed of business. Builders love the system. Do you guys love the system? Yes. The Kayani system. Yes. Are you guys starting to study the Kayani mobile app? Yes. Are you already imagining how Using the Kayani mobile app, you can exponentially grow your business. Yes. Let me tell you something. I have been in, the, in this industry for 16 years. And today, I am challenging myself to see what I am not seeing. When you continue, it's, there's nothing wrong with continuous one-on-one. -on -one. There's nothing wrong with coming here to the office to talk to a group of people like this. I am just saying, Find ways on how you can maximize the power of technology and smartphones to expand your Kayani business faster. So when you attend the convention, if you attended the convention, you must also be able to see the messages that's not sent. You guys, are you guys getting my point? So when Kirk Hansen said speed of business, what can we actually learn out of this? Because when we don't take that statement seriously, we'll just go back to how we're doing old school MLM. Right? But that's the reason why James Bradford is breaking records. Because his group is utilizing the power of technology and the power of smartphones. But this is the thing. If that guy can do it, we can do better. Yes! yes. You know why I believe that? Because Filipinos are the best networkers in the planet. Yes! I'm sorry, my brother from Nigeria. It doesn't mean that we don't have a future in Kenya. I believe Nigeria is a very explosive market. And so is Nepal, Bangladesh, Indonesia, and Hong Kong, Mr. Kiran. You know why I said that? Because anywhere in the world, there's Filipinos. Ibabaw ng dagat, ilalim ng dagat, may Pilipino. Naglalakad ka sa ibang bansa, sumichit ka na, pssst, 
Filipino. So we sometimes it's hard to distinguish, and I'm sure my partner, my brother Kiran will agree. It's kind of hard to determine because Indonesians and Filipinos they all look the same, right? But if you stay in Indonesia long enough, you would be able to immediately identify their difference. <laughs> so anyway, so they're all together, especially Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you'll see them all over the place. So which one is a Filipina and who's not a Filipina? So you say, Filipina, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Do you know a Filipino store, a Filipino restaurant here? Uh, that's the start of the conversation. By the way, how long have you been working here? So that's how it is. And then eventually, as you talk, you can ask that magic question. Would you mind if we exchange numbers? The crucial word is exchange. Because when you say, can I ask for your phone number? Trust is not mutual. But when you say exchange, trust is mutual. You're willing to give your number, and she's also willing to give her number. So when I was doing MLM, this is my commitment to myself every single day. You know when we stay, Kiran is aware of this. When I when I when we're staying in a hotel, I will go out in the morning having one objective in mind. I need to get 30 names and 30 phone numbers of total strangers every day. I will never go back to my hotel if I only have 28 or if I only have 29. I need to complete 30 because that's my commitment to myself, not to anyone. So one day, it was like 2.30 in the morning. I was standing at the tram station near uh, one child and I'm still at 12, number 29, so I'm still missing one. God, there's not much, you know, in Hong Kong, there's not much people anymore. We hours of the morning. And then before this tram leaves, the train leaves, I saw this Filipina running after the train. So when he was up on the train already, I said, and she said, <laughs> as if we have known each other for the longest time. So I handed her over my colleague and I said, she got accused. Who the heck is the bad guy asking me to call him? So the moment he got to her destination, she immediately called me. And she happens to be a networker for that. So we met right at that time. And it's not in our culture to show checks of you know the amount of money we're making. And she asked me, how much money are you making? Can you show me your checks? Like, why would I need to do that? I don't show my checks to be able to bring in people. But how would I know that you're making money? Check my passport. Correct? Puno ba ng tata? Sabi ni, puno. Do you think I can travel the world if I'm not making good money? Sabi niya, yes, I will. You guys want to experience building in the international market? Yes! Love it. It's clear that great builders of any kind all rely on a workable, reliable system, to pre predictable system. After all, that is what Kayani have in common as far as McDonald's, Jollibee, and 7-Eleven are concerned. We all have a system. <coughs> right? Now, when you don't know Kayani's system, go back to your upline. Upline! What is that system Mr. Bong is talking about? Right? If your upline doesn't know the system, you know what to do with your upline. Pag lalaki yan, yun yan. Diba? Pag babae sa tenga lang. But your upline must know what kind of a system do we have here in Kayani. Right? An example of a system. When I was at the... Please don't get me wrong, I kept on saying when I was actively building, because for the longest time I did build my organization until I, this guy sent me a message. Ginulo ni Captain Clemente ang buhay ko. You know, we used to own our own MLM company, but because we fell in love with Kayani, one day we woke up, we decided, we're closing our own company so that we can be distributors of Kayani. 
So before, let's say this is the whiteboard, and this is how I present. And she is my downline, she's one of my leaders. She cannot change the flow of my presentation. She needs to copy my presentation. That's our system. When you say team conqueror kid, kailangan meron ka. Sabi ng iba, Go back to your outline. Correct? Great achievement should be system driven rather than personality driven. Let me emphasize this. A system based business is so powerful. Would you like to know why? Huh? Why? Because a system can make ordinary people produce extraordinary results. Do you want to experience extraordinary results? Yes. Make sure you have a system. You don't want a talented person in your team. Of course, talent is a bonus. But it's better when that talented person is humble enough to follow Kayani system. You see, in our own company, we have a totally different system. We have different system when it comes to running events. We have, when we run events, we have what we call our cruise system. We will never run any event until we have a solid crew. But when we came here, when we, came, when we come in, we apply one basic principle that we have been applying for the longest time, adapt, adjust, and accommodate. You cannot grow when you carry a fixed mindset. You want to grow? Your mindset must be dynamic. You must be flexible. We adjust. We learn. Right? And this is my promise to my brother, Captain Ronald, and my sister, Applying Cookie. I love you. When we joined Kayani, we are bringing with us not just our team, we are bringing with us our expertise. Correct? Kaya lang po ngayon, hindi pa namin magawa ng gusto kasi maliit pa po yung aming organizations. Baka naman po masabihin tayo ng kurdalda. Sapay lang. Parang kaya naman, di ba? So, kailangan mag-green diamond muna. Kailangan mag-green diamond tayo lahat o mag-double green diamond. Nanood kami ng ano, di ba, ng awarding. Na-realize ko. Wala pa lang kwenta yung diamond, pinapadaan lang sa stage yes. para rumi lang. Yes. <laughs> when they call me, Rupi! I don't want to go up on stage anymore. <laughs> but this is part of the system, so I'm gonna go up. <laughs> right, so... Earlier, before coming here, I had a regular meeting with my generals every one o'clock in the afternoon, every Monday. So I asked them, what rank will you hit this month of August? Right? So when they answer my question, it's not their commitment to me. It's their commitment to themselves. In my group, one thing that I hate so much, and it makes my ears really, really red, sa lahat ng ayaw ko, yung power. I'm lying. Emerald ako this man. That's good. That's what you want. Why do you want to hit Emerald? Your answer to that question is more important than the rank you want to hit. Do you want to stay as an Emerald? So what rank do you want this month? What type of diamond? Green? Red? Red? Purple? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Diamond, there's no challenge. Then ask you, all the diamonds come here in front. You will enter here, you look, you walk here, you go down there. <laughs> what the F is that? You see, in my 16 years in MLM, 
This is the only time I went up on stage to be recognized. I am not used to recognition. My orientation is service. But since this is Kayani's system, then I will submit. But you see, when I was there, I was looking for cookie. Without cookie, my knees are trembling. Because I'm not used to it. You know, when you talk about recognition, I shrink. When you talk about service, I can look at you eye to eye and you will feel the fire coming from my eyes. After all, service to others is the rent we pay for being here. Small, listen to this. Small minds pay attention to personal skills and techniques. Great minds pay attention to the system. Again, if you don't know the system that I'm talking about, go to your upline. Ask your upline, what is the system? Correct? System. Do you know the word system is actually an acronym? Do you know this? The word system is an acronym. It means saving yourself time, effort, and money. But it's true, right? When you follow the system, you avoid expensive mistakes. But the question is, what will stop someone in following the system? Maybe that person is not flexible. Maybe that person's ego is bigger than him or her. Right? So if you want your business to grow exponentially, you must have a predictable, doable, duplicable system. Let me share with you why I am having regular once a week meeting with my people. I do that as part of our system. They are expected to run the same meeting in their organization. That's how duplication happens. Aliwanag? Our business is a process of system duplication. And it's time you change the system. Everyone in your downlines get confused. Correct. You understand that? Now, what is the most damaging consequence when your people are confused? When people are confused, they don't produce. Correct. Tama? Parang nakakarilig ka. Masyado mo. Medyo. Each time you teach your new recruits about the system, make sure you emphasize that any change in the system will result in failure. And this is something common to newbies or first-timers in network marketing. Network marketing. They have the tendency to reinvent the wheel. Why? Because they thought they are successful in their career before MLM and that they can apply the same principles that they apply in that career to be successful here. It's not like that. I was like that before. I think, I thought I was smarter, I was more brilliant than my upline. So I tried reinventing the wheel, you know? My very first live presentation, 300 people. One of my second presentation. Before the start of the presentation, I drew on the board picture of a family taking a vacation with their green card, dream yard, whatever. And then I covered it with vanilla paper. And then I asked the audience, would you like to know what's at the back of this vanilla paper? Yes. Do you really want to know? Yes, do you really want to know? Akala ko, galing-galing ko, di ba? Pagkatapos ng presentation, sabi ng upline ko, three words, 
reinventing the wheel. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, you need to follow the system. New, new marketers can be handed everything in a single product and still fail if they refuse to duplicate a simple system. Can you guys read this? Can you guys read this? All together, please. The way to build a successful business is to stick with the system. Right? Before, and I shared this with uh, Cap Ronald, no? The name of my team before is Team Global, Team Global Entrepreneur. The tagline is Purpose, Unity, and Freedom. Developing a global organization through the power of team building. That's what the name of my team when I was actively building. Right? We make sure that the materials we're using here in the Philippines are the same materials that our town lines from different parts of the world are using. Some some smart ass will come to us and say, you know, Akmai, you inspire us a lot. Because of the inspiration that we're getting from Team Global, we have created a new team name for our team. <laughs> and I will say, sure, go ahead. You want to carry your own name? Do it! But do not expect support from us. Correct. Correct. You want our support? You carry our name. That's why Captain Ronald can tell you this. That's one of the questions I have immediately asked him. Why team conquer? And he was able to satisfy my question because if not, today I will stand in front of you promoting a different team. <laughs> So are here to conquer. Right? You, you can't be a conqueror when you're like... <laughs> like that. You can. When you say you're a conqueror, how do you walk? How do you talk? How do you look at me? Right? What? Team, are we conquering our parents? In, 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 in. Uh, oh my God, will you please forgive me when I say this openly. I was kind of disappointed when someone is shouting, what's gonna happen to Philippines? I was expecting that the whole floor will rock because of Team Conquer. Okay. It didn't happen. But when you, when you do like this in, in SMX, the whole floor will move. I was expecting that the whole floor of the freaking SMX will move like crazy because of big boom. Again, what kind of income do we want? Crazy! crazy. You see before, when we do trainings like this, according to science, you can hold your bladder for more than six hours. Meron ba? Meron pang gusto gumalaw? Subukan nyo lang. Do you guys want crazy income? Yes! want crazy income. Yes! You know before, when our applies ask us if we want crazy income, we don't answer that question. Why? Okay, yeah. 
Patihin natin itong kwarto, tingnan natin kung sino yung kikita talaga ng crazy income. Do you guys want crazy income? Yes! Do you want crazy income? Yes! Do you want crazy income? Yes! Do you want crazy income? energy of the room change? Yes! What if, what if, every single day we carry that kind of energy, what do you think will happen to our prospects? Baliw! They will decide faster. Yes. Always remember, enthusiasm is contagious. Yes. Why is enthusiasm contagious? Because from the Greek word enteo, enteo means God within. Yes. That's why enthusiasm is contagious. Thank you. Builders focus on large numbers. Builders must have a large numbers mentality. Is 300 down is big? No. Is 3,000 down is big? No. Actually, whether you say it's small or you say it's big, you're right. It's your number anyway. I'm saying builders think big numbers. You remember, who among you heard James Bradford? Me! Right. Earlier, we talked about this with my team. James Bradford is saying, his new project is Project 5000. What is your new project until the end of the year? How many downlines do you need to have or do you need, do you want under your organization by December 2016? And that is your project number. Minus 10,000. Are you up to the challenge? Yes. 3,000 downlines. One line. I have three lines. Three thousand, three thousand, three thousand. All right. So what is your project? Twenty. You must have that project because if you don't have that project, you cannot help your outline become double the diamond. Yes. I want to help them hit that ramp. I love you. You know why? This is a team sport. Support is never one way, it's always two way. You push them up, they will pull you up. But do not expect yourself to be pulled up when you're not willing to be to push up. Yes. Right? That's why John F. Kennedy said, don't ask what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I say the same. Don't ask what your uplines can do for you. Ask what you can do to also help your uplines. So upline. Go good luck. Count me in. I'm there with you. Are you guys see that? Yes! That's the spirit. You see? Majority of you, more than 80, 70 percent of people inside this room are not even my town. You guys are my happy customers. But here in Kennedy, we're part of one big family. We are here to contribute and to add value to the best of our ability. Your job is to decide: will you take this for granted, or you will take advantage? It's your choice. You don't build one or two people, you build hundreds, if not thousands of people. Right? So when I say, you must have a blueprint, you must have a vision. By the end of this year, how many downlines do you want to have? 20,000! By the end of next year, how many downlines do you want to have? 250,000! Let's forget <laughs> the future for the meantime. How many downlines do you need to, do you want to have? in your organization this month of August. Blue Diamond! Right? 
Tama na yung pahinga. Kasama yun sa habit ng mga Pilipinos eh. Pilipinos have the habit of resting before they feel tired. Diba? Kiran, you testify, no? Kiran is... We, when, we build, when we build in Hong Kong, we will call all our people. We will call our Nepalese downlines, our Indonesian downlines, and our Filipino downlines. We'll conduct training from 8 to 10 in the morning, Sunday. From 10 onwards, they are supposed to do bleach. They're supposed to go different parts of Hong Kong to bring people for a 1 o'clock business presentation. Right? So, Filipinos, you go to Centra. Uh, Indonesians, you go to Victoria Park. Am I correct, Iran? The police are also somehow part of the Victoria Park. No. If you want to recruit Indonesians, you now know where to go. Right? So, we will send them all, different groups. 12.30, they will start coming back. Here comes the Filipinas. The first thing that they will do, they will go to the toilet, retouch. <laughs> nice bags, nice clothes, nice everything. But very few prospects. Am I correct, Brother Kiran? Yeah. When the Indonesians and the Nepalese come, the whole room smells like onion. You know, sometimes that's how they sweat, Indonesians, because they love spicy foods. Yes. Yeah, but you will see they're sweating, their hairs are all over the place, but they have people with them. And you see, they're wearing ordinary rubber shoes. They're wearing, they're, they're big, they have backpacks instead of fake Louis Vuitton. <laughs> and when it comes for them to pay, Indonesians will just get cash from their backpack. Filipinos will say, we don't have money. Why? Pinadala sa probinsya, pinabili ng TV, pinabili ng bago, but they don't have money for business. Uh, right. eh, no? Now, I am saying this because it's true. I am saying this to each one of you because I want you to be reminded of something. If you're not going to take ownership of the Philippines, Team Fusion will conquer this market. And I'm telling you, I cannot allow that to happen. Is there anyone here from Team Fusion? <laughs> you guys are part of the family, right? <laughs> this is a healthy competition. No way, Jose. But that's just what I'm saying. When you want to be top earners, when you want to make it, when you want your people to have courage, courage must come from you first. You must be bold. Because I cannot expect my leaders to be bold when I'm not bold. Correct. Last I'm month, bold. Last, last time I was here, and I declared our team will dominate. Yes! I said that from the bottom of my heart. When you're my cross time, it's up to you. No, no. You can give us Or you can take that challenge and say, Right? Right, Jason? You know, I love the way Jason is looking at me. Because I know. By looking at me, he can feel that his blood is starting to boil. Correct. You see, I said, when we joined Kayani and we chose our company, we didn't join Kayani to play. We're here to make serious money. Right? Think global, build local. You cannot build elsewhere without first experiencing how to build successfully in your own neighborhood. Correct. Right? You want to capture the Philippine market? Explode in your territory first. Correct. Who's from Jensen here? Jensen! You will hear my team growing in Jensen. <laughs> You know, when Kurt Hansen said, what are we going to do in Asia? To the top of my lungs, I shouted, we will dominate Asia! Yes! Yes! And 
hands and immediately said, I am hearing all the right answers. But at the end of the day, it's not what you say. It's what you do. I am where I am today, not only because of the loudness of my voice, but because of my ability to act day in and day out. So when you take my chance, in the next three months, I'm telling you, you have no reason to sleep. Yon patay! Tamay, lagot ka! Wala na, tulog-tulog ka! Watch out! Sinyata! Right? Are you guys up to it? Yes! Let's see it. Let's see it. Sino pa yung ibang provisya dito? Sino pa? Tabaw! Sino? Sino yung taga-tabaw? Okay, this is another thing, ha? This is another thing. This is another thing. When you're here last time I conducted a training, my partner was standing there at the back. Today, He's not here. But don't worry, he's not in the bow yet. <laughs> he is still here in Manila, meeting top leaders from different MLM companies from the bow who transferred to Kayani. <laughs> Tomorrow evening, all of these leaders that I'm talking about will be flying back. <laughs> you see, what am I trying to tell you here? I'm not trying to scare you because I, I believe the market is abundant. Yes. But I'm just reminding you, when you want to be ahead, you cannot be complacent. Because people who are hungrier than you will take ownership of the territory you're taking for granted. Right? Don't worry, you're one of my inspirations. Right? Our belief is this. Records are not just meant to be set. Records are meant to be broken. Gabi ng screen, oh, tama ha? Not screen. Again, again, again. Oh, see? You must make out, you must, you must wake up every single day thinking about growing your business. So what do you do when you wake up in the morning? Pray. Hmm, five minutes back. Ten minutes back. Joe, Joe always one today. Oh my God, my day is so perfect. Kahag isip ko palang two goals. Sarap ng balita, magano nito ba? So pag isip sa umaga, what do you do when you wake up in the morning? That's true. You say thank you, thank you for my life, thank you for my excellent health, thank you for all the favors, miracles, opportunities, and guidance that you have in store for me today. I offer this day to you so that everything I can do according to your guidance, with your guidance. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Pag ganun pa lang pag-gising mo sa umaga, ang ganda na ng araw mo eh. Correct. Yes. And here comes your wife or your husband, nakasimako. <laughs> ikaw naman, so, ikaw pala yung ganda na ng araw mo, sinisira mo. My morning is so beautiful and yet I just saw you. You're talking to me like that and my day is destroyed. My, my day is ruined. Let me tell you something. No one has any power to ruin your day without your permission. Correct. Right? That's why I agree with Mahatma Gandhi when he said, You can imprison me. You can torture me. You can even destroy my body, but you can never control my thoughts. Always remember, you have the freedom to choose what meanings you connect here. You must learn how to motivate yourself at will. 
you know, do you guys feel disappointed at times, especially when you're not getting the results that you expected to get? Yes. Do you get disappointed at times when you're expecting some people to get certain packages and yet it didn't happen? Yes. I believe as human beings, it's okay to be disappointed. I believe as human beings, it's okay to be frustrated at times. But it's not okay to stay disappointed. Correct. It is not okay to stay frustrated. Who among you guys are familiar with PBA or NPA? Huh? Us. How many seconds is full time out? Full time? Full time out? 20 seconds. 20, 30? Okay, forget it. Let's say full time out is 30 seconds. Right? In other words, whether you feel bad, you feel good, whether you're emotional, unemotional on that day, when your coach called for a timeout, you only have 30 seconds to get back on your A game. Correct. Yes. Right? That's me. So how come some people take one week to recover? That's me. From one rejection. In our, my brother is not here, we have this in our, and Janice and Alice are aware of this. Whenever we encounter failures, disappointments, and frustrating events in our MLM career, or even in our lives, we only have 24 hours. We can either mourn or celebrate just within the 24 hours. Our challenge now is to shorten that period. Because when you say at will, so say for example today, you don't feel motivated. Right? Maybe because before you slept, you watch all these news related to drugs, killings, and more. Right? So you slept thinking negatively because you watch negative things. So the following morning when you wake up, you are like what? Feeling kind of negative. What do you do to get yourself motivated at will? What do you do? Go back to your vision. Go back to the reasons why you are doing the business. Because sometimes, you know, people are very, very good in building momentum. They start thinking negatively, they keep on feeling the negative thoughts, and then eventually that negative thoughts start building momentum. Before they know it, they can't move anymore. They're already paralyzed. You know? Sometimes overthinking causes that also. What is overthinking anyway? Overthinking is the art. It is an art. Overthinking is the art of creating problems that don't exist. So when you wake up one day and you cannot seem to find anything that will motivate you. So when you're feeling down, when you're feeling down, how do you walk? When you're feeling down, how do you walk? You walk like this? Huh? It's like that, diba? Laglagang balikan. But, oh, sige, let's do this. Are you guys okay to have a short exercise? Yes. 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 Right. Can you try being sad? Just try it. You know, trust the process and just allow yourself to be sad. Where do you look when you're sad? Down. Again, come on, come on. Okay. Try allowing yourself to be excited this time. Where do you look when you're excited? Ah. Okay, okay. Now, let's do this. Try looking down. Look, look down. And allow yourself to be excited. Come on. Hirap. Hirap, no? <laughs> Try looking up. Look up. And allow yourself to feel sad. Di ba? It is syntax error. It's not consistent. So what do you do when you're feeling sad? Look up. You look up. In fact, you don't just look up. You say, hey, dude, you that. I can't do this without you. But I know you are the greatest of man. Amen! Yes. Because this is that secret. That exercise I shared with you, 
I would like you to always remember this. You cannot separate motion from emotion. Emotion is motion, motion is emotion. Right? You can't walk and say, I'm so excited, but you're looking up. You can't say, oh my God, I'm so sad, but you're looking up. You cannot. So if you know already that you're sad, don't look down. Look up. Move your body. If you, if you can dance, you dance. Because when you start changing the way your body moves, your feeling will start changing. Try doing this. Come on, come on. This is my show me your teeth. Yeah, like that, like that. Come on, come on. Come on. Show, even if you don't need it, show me your teeth. And as you do that, observe how you feel. So yeah. Your feeling changes. Right? But this is the thing. Are you guys even aware that when you make sima in English when you uh, frown, when you frown, you are using more muscles as compared to the number of muscles that you need to use by smiling. Yes. It's actually less effort. Yes. Right? Pag dolo ng dito ka na naman. You are an inspiration, Lola. Go ahead. Actually, I'm almost finished. According to Alice, one hour and a half na lang. Are you guys okay with that? Yes. More. More. See? When you're saying yes to me, make sure you're not saying no to yourself. You must lead by example. You know, you can push your people to learn, you can push your people to attend training when the upper is not here. You see, I have been coming here and out of here in Kayani office, and I see some people who call themselves leaders here in Kayani. Why? Maybe because they have that ribbon connected to the convention I Blue something. How much blue? You could have done it. So, okay now. Apply naman kita. So anyway, like that, right? Correct? And then, here comes the book of Mark Sandberg. You don't need a title to be a leader. Right? So, leading by title, ladies and gentlemen, is the lowest level of leadership. This is one of the highest level of leadership. Leadership by example. Correct. You must admire Cup, Cup and Cookie because they're here. Yes. That's why they can push you to attend race. Correct. The ones who are not here, I'm sure everything coming from this. Yeah. <laughs> Builders recruit to build. You must know the reason why you recruit. The main purpose of recruiting is not selling, it's not just to recruit, but to build builders. More recruits and more sales will result from building efforts. Every day, like what I said in the start of my training, when you're selling, you're actually building your consumer base. When you're sponsoring, you're building your organization. When you attend the training like this, you are building your knowledge, you're building yourself. Right? So in other words, you are always building. When you're not building, you're training. When you're not training, you're building. Builders and duplication. Are you guys learning from my module? Yes! Is this something that when you apply consistently will help you grow your market better? Yes! yes. You must have a duplication mentality. Always remember, this is the thing. And I am not gonna say this to discourage some people or anyone in doing what they think is right in growing their business. Mariwana, in network marketing, there's a saying. As far as the context of duplication is concerned, listen to this. In MLM, the big thing is the small thing. The small thing is the big thing. Ano yung ibig sabihin nyo? Nako! Ablan! 
E kung mayor na to, pag nakuha niya ito, grabe! Kung lahat ang bumbayan na to! Power! Big thing! Correct? Pero how many of your downlines know in mayor? Is it duplicable? No. But it's a big thing. It becomes a small thing when it's not duplicable. Correct. Right? Yes. Correct? Yes. So, ganito na lang. Parang yan tayo ng mayor. May ganun din eh. Pag-apline ako, itong matindi, si Mayor, nakumiit yan bro. Itong kind of mayor, matindi. Ang laki ng bayan ito bro. May ganun pa, di ba? So, always remember, the key to an exclusive organization is duplication. The key to duplication is simplicity. Exactly. Right? What's your name, brother? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, I'm sure when you bring these lessons with you back to Nigeria, I can only pray that God bless the works of your hand and the words of your mouth. Amen. Amen. Master the system. It's not enough for you to learn. You must master. Always study, practice, teach. Study, practice, teach. Study, practice, teach. When you talk, are you a doctor? <laughs> Who's a doctor here in the room? Yes. Doctora. Ten years in medicine, correct? If you talk about mastery of any subject, it will take you 5,000 hours. That's mastery. So if you're doing MLM part-time for three years, that's not mastery. Because mastery, 5,000 hours, is like eight, 800, uh, eight hours every day for the next five years. But if you're doing this part-time, there's magic in part-time, I always remind my partner, Attorney Jackie Verano. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Like that. Nice. Attorney Jackie, it's, his first, it's her first time in MLM. A lot of MLM companies approach her before, but she always says no. For the same, when I see networkers before, I was like, ew. I don't see myself drawing circles to make money. Now, I married MLM. Yeah. I'm in love with MLM. You know, why is it that until today, after 16 years in the industry, I, I still feel like I'm a first time? Would you like to know the reason? Yes! Like what? NBA superstars are saying for the love of the game. I just love this game. I just love this game. I love this game. I love That's why every day I am like a first time. Do you guys feel the same? Yes. So I was like telling attorney, you know, 30 days in Kayani. Would you like to know how much your first check was? Yes. 30 days in Kayani? 72,000. I think that deserves a big round of applause. No experience at all. I have been in the industry for 16 years and I know how crucial and important it is for a newbie to experience 72,000 in 30 days. Correct? My operator here, beautiful, white skin, single. nice skin, single without a boyfriend. <laughs> in 30 days in Kayani, Card qualifier, first check, 200,000. Wow. Alice is getting younger, as you can see. Yeah, baby. By the way, gentlemen, she is available, but she's 60 years old. <laughs> but she doesn't look 60, she looks 59.99. <laughs> she actually looks like she's 45. And like Chinese, she is also producing serious amount of money. Not because they have extraordinary powers. They're ordinary dudes like you. It's just that they allow me to guide them. 
coachable. You know, who is the best athlete that you know? Can you name a name? Jordan. Best athlete? Jordan. Who? Jordan. Michael Jordan. He in the Philippines. Do we have? Manny Pacquiao. Well, who else? One more. Last. Jordan. James Lebron. Okay, so James Lebron, Michael Jordan, and Manny Pacquiao. What do they have in common? Excellent. They all have coaches. You know why? Because despite of their success in life, despite of the amount of money they're making, they are humble enough to admit they cannot see everything. The coach is there to watch your back. After all, your back is the most vulnerable part of your body because you don't see it all the time. Yes. yes. But you see, no one will have the courage to coach you when you're making yourself, when you're making your coach feel that you're always better than her or better than you. Correct. You know, humility doesn't mean you're thinking less of yourself. Humility means you're just thinking of yourself less. It's important. Regardless of your level in your life or society, you can still learn when you're humble enough to admit you don't know everything. Like that, right? So in other words, I'm saying, regardless of the amount of knowledge that you already have, do not say you are right. Always stay green. Because when you when you say you're right, the next thing that will happen to you is you will run. When you stay green, you will always grow. Please stay green. That's why we are green. Yes. yes. You know, I say this is a personal quote from me. I say. Be always curious to learn new things, right? Be always curious to learn new things. Be open and stay green. Life is a thrilling adventure to be limited by the words I know. Di ba may ganon? Nagkikwento ka pa lang sabi, alam ko na yan bro. You know when I'm talking to you and I hear that words from you, I will stop. I will not talk again. But this is the thing. This is the problem with small-minded people. The problem with small-minded people is their mouth is, in, is always open. Remember this. Small people dominate the talking. Big people dominate listening. Why? Because when you're the one talking most of the time, you're just repeating what you already know. Correct. When you're listening, you can possibly learn something. Yes. yes. Are you guys enjoying? Yes. Smile naman dyan. Yeah. Oh, why? Yeah. Teach the system. I already said that earlier. Builders are loyal to their products. Are you guys loyal to your Kayani products? Yes! Yes! Use your products to be the product of your products. Yes. Right? Yes. Builders know what products their business can build on. Do you know what products your business can build on? The whole triangle of health. Even our products are system-based. Right? Drops and sunset, drops and then sun, drops and sunrise. Like that, right? Like that. Assistant. Know the benefits of your products. Do you know the benefits of your products? Yes. yes. Keep it simple and the big one. Builders build people. Will you agree? Yeah. yeah. Your people is the only appreciable asset you have in your organization. You, have, you may have early success, you may have large number, but if you don't understand the importance of building people, you won't last in this business. That's why, and this is another secret. healthy competition, If you can go to National Bookstore, 
or if you can go to fully booked, or if you can go to power books, if you can find this book anywhere in these bookstores, just go online and search and get public na lang. Questions are the answers. How to get a yes in network marketing. When you learn the questions in this very thin book, how to get a yes in network marketing by how to get a the title is questions are the answers. The subtitle is how to get a yes in network marketing. You see, it is a lot easier to facilitate transactions when you know how to ask the right questions. You know, sometimes, di ba? Oh, let's say this. Are you guys learning from this? Are you guys enjoying yes. this? Yes. Would it be okay if I still take a bit of your time? Yes. You see, questions are very powerful. It can blow any obstacles, like having the power of a dynamite. Let me give an example. Sino say, who among you guys here have experienced thinking? Who among you here have experienced thinking? The rest are not thinking. <laughs> so all of us here have experienced thinking. Uh, now this is another question. What is thinking anyway? <coughs> What is thinking? Thinking is just a process of questions and answers in our brain. Please try to think without asking yourself questions. You cannot. You can. When you think, you're asking yourself questions. But what kind of answers are you expecting to get? When you keep on asking yourself, the same old questions. You ask yourself the same old questions, you will only get the same old answers. Tama. Why is my organization not exploding? Or not growing? Is that an exciting question? Huh? Really? Why? Is it that my organization is not good? Is that an exciting question? No. How can I make my organization grow faster and at the same time become more profitable by me enjoying the process? Is that an exciting question? Yes. So when you ask yourself a new and exciting question, guess what kind of answer will you get? A new and exciting answer. So try Try challenging yourself. Now, let me ask you this. You say, good? Before you can build people, can you guys read this? Before you can build people, you must build yourself first. Do you guys agree with that? Yes. Now, let me ask you a straightforward, simple question. Listen, appliance. Listen. What is the one thing you would change to improve the performance of your team? There's no right or wrong answer here. We're all here to learn. So can I have a volunteer? What is the one thing you would change to improve the performance of your team? Attitude. Character. What else? Huh? You will change training. What else? Skills. What else? That's true. You see? You have two worlds. This one is the outside world. And this one is your inner world. Which world do you have direct control of? This one or this one? So let me ask you again, what is the one thing you would change to improve the performance of your team? 
you need to improve first so that your team's performance will improve. You cannot expect performance to happen from the outside before the inside. Correct? Yes. Am I making change? Am I making sense? Yes. If you want your organization's performance to change, especially this month of July, you August. Actually, I'm just testing if you guys are doing this. Correct? If you want, or when you want, sorry for the word if, when you want your downline's performance to change this month of August, what do you need to do? You change yourself. You can change without growing, but you can never grow without changing. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, focus on their strengths and goodness. Praise them and help them win. You know we're all human beings here. We are. We make mistakes, we fail, correct? Yes. Like what I said, Karina, like what I said earlier, when you quit, to point the mistakes and failures of your downlines, you must be quicker when it comes to praising them, encouraging them, celebrating victory with them. You know, we always say momentum is our best friend here in Mark Network Marketing. Why? Because the word momentum is called the great exaggerator. When you have momentum, it exaggerates everything. It exaggerates your results. It exaggerates the profile of your people. It exaggerates everything related to your Kayani business. But without momentum, everything becomes harder. One of the most key, or one of the most important secret to building momentum is this. Communicate success fast. Hey, come on guys, can you please text my new leader? You know, she just made this month. Can we all congratulate her? You know, that's how you build momentum. You know, you don't just wait for your, your leaders to become diamond, double diamond, whatever diamond, before you actually praise them. Help them appreciate small winning builds. Even if these are just small recognitions, small achievements, when you praise them, they will be more excited to do better. Correct? Yes. So please, make sure. Sometimes I'm also guilty, I'm very, very quick in pointing the mistakes and shortcomings of my people. But where do we really focus our attention to? Do we focus on the weaknesses of our outlines? Do we focus on the weaknesses of our downlines? Or we focus on the strengths of our outlines? You see, like this. Let me tell you this. You know, Janice, what I love about you is your passion. Your level of commitment to our business is unmatchable. She is very committed, and these are the things I love about her. What I love about Alex is her passion to help out people. Yes. Her passion to serve. Her passion to help out to the best of her ability. You must be able to immediately tell your people, this is what I love about you. You can only say that with sincerity when you're not focused on their weaknesses. It requires change, bottom line. Can you guys look at the person seated beside you and say, I am blessed to be seated beside you. I am blessed to be seated beside you. I am blessed. Did you guys feel it? Yes! God bless to have you, Mr. Hong. Yes! And I'm equally blessed to have you. Yes! The greatest king. <laughs> 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 the greatest gift you can give your team is, is to give them your total belief that they will be successful. You know, sometimes I'm, I, I'm regularly I'm being asked. What gives me so much passion to believe in people? Would you like to know? Yes. Because at one point in my life, some people took the courage to believe in me first before I even believed in myself. Now, I am just paying it for. Soon, you will do the same. Be 
committed to constant and never-ending improvement. In Japanese, they call it Kaizen. Practice, practice, practice is never enough. Practice with improvement. When you practice, make sure your presentation today or your presentation tomorrow must be better than your presentation today. Your follow-ups tomorrow will be need to be better than your follow-ups today. Right? Your invitation skills must be better tomorrow compared to your invitation skills today. Every day is a new beginning. Every day offers new room for improvement. Right? So don't be complacent. You see, I was telling, I was reminding my people earlier, my car is my university. Before I sleep at night, I spend one, two hours. If I'm not reading, I am on YouTube. I'm listening to Jim Rohn. I'm listening to all these legends of MLM. Because that's the only way I can continuously remind myself. If I want to make, or when I want to make, one million dollars every single month, I cannot be complacent. So it depends on the amount of money you guys want to make. Right? Builders have high level of tolerance. Number one, be patient with people. Are you guys patient with your people? Yes. When you talk about the word patient, <laughs> or patience, patience is not the ability to wait. Patience is the ability to wait with the right attitude. Right? Always give people the benefit of the doubt. When things don't happen according to your expectations, in fact, this word is usually the cause of disappointment. The word, expectations. Do you guys agree with that? Yes. Always remember this. Are you guys ready to hear this? Yes. Your reality has nothing to do with reality. What does it mean? Let me give an example. Let's say you have an appointment with one of your leaders. Ang usapan nyo, your, your commitment time is like 1 o'clock. Here comes 30 minutes, here comes 1 hour, and your leader is not there yet. You now start entertaining thoughts. This person, when it comes to time, doesn't know how to respect. I am the outline, and guess what? I'm the one waiting. Oh my God, I don't deserve this. So by creating these meanings in your brain, you are already creating a reality. Guess how? Guess what would be your reaction when the person finally comes? Huh? Exactly. But you didn't take the time to figure out first or to find out first what happened to that person. But when you change your meaning, let's say, Oh my God, I'm so worried. What happened to this person? I'm actually very concerned. You know, he's always on time or he's always on time. You know, when he comes here, when, when this person comes here, the first thing that I will do is to give that person a hug. For an hour that I'm waiting for her, I actually missed her. Guess how your actions would change? It would be different. Right? It's like waiting for a guest. The, the, the business presentation will start at 7. And it's already 7 or 5 and your guest is not yet here. How do you, how do you text your guest? How do you, when you call her, what would you say? Sakana! Sakana! 7 o'clock! Who's somebody away? <laughs> so, like that, Deva. So, you know, but you see, for example, you are my guest. What's your name, sir? Leo. Leo. Role play tayo, ako na rin, telepono. Hawakan mo yung anong bro, kahit ko nang pwedeng hawakan dyan, may hawak ako. Ah, nakabluetooth ka ba? Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, so sinagot ni Leo. Leo, I am just concerned because ang usapan natin is 7 o'clock and so 7.05, you're not here yet. What's happening? What's wrong? Ang sabi mo? May traffic. So, may ang malamang sabi mo, na-traffic ako, hindi na lang ako makakarap. Correct? 
And say, Deo, it doesn't matter. All I want to find out is if you're okay. I'm glad you're okay. Anyway, this is not the last time. Am I correct? So kung ganun, may hiya ka ng injury na ako sa susunod. Bro, tama! Tama, tama, di ba? Because I made you feel good. By making you feel good, you kind of somehow feel guilty na hindi mo na ako pwede tanggitan. Pero pag sinabi kong, bro, kakainis ka! Di ba parang yung energy natin, hindi na alay. So, it doesn't work like that. You want a tip how to get a yes in network marketing? Yes! Do you want a tip how to get a yes in network marketing? Yes! You know when I call my prospects, when I talk to my prospects, I have 99.9 .9 success rate when it comes to setting appointments. Text, it's so hard to express emotions to text. Kailangan you have the extraordinary skills to choose the right emoticons, the right words, the right whatever marks. But each call is different. Let me give an example. Who's willing to volunteer to be my prospect? Come on, come on, the doctor. <laughs> listen, huh? listen. Huh? Hello. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Okay, ganito ha. I would like you to understand, by her saying hi, she is already in a yes mode. Right? Yes. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. That's another second yes mode. Directly or indirectly, aware or unaware. I'm looking for Doctora Lazaro. Ah, Doctora Santiago. On the line. That means it is Doctora Santiago. So it's another yes. Is this Doctora Santiago? Yes. Ah, patay! Binaong ko pa! Apat na yes na. Doctora, this is Bong Escobedo. Do you still remember me? Very much. Ilang yeses na yun? Five. Yes. So how will she say no to me when I invite her for a meeting when I already programmed her to say yes to me? You understand my point? Yes. So when you call a prospect, you say, Hey, good morning, bro. How are you? Blah, 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 blah. Communication is two-way. So when you say, hello, let the other person say hello. Even if you know that the other person is the person you're looking for, pretend that you don't know. And then here comes another example. It's like, do you want to different yourself from the rest of the from the rest of these people who are calling people? Let's say this. Emma, I'm looking for Dr. Sandiago. I'm here. Doctora, is this you? Of course. Doctora, do you still remember me? Bong Escobedo? Yes, sir. That's when I know her. But when I don't know her, I'll say, Doctor, uh, I'm looking for Doctora Santiago. Most likely she will say, Who's this? Correct? This is Doctora Santiago. This is Bong Escobedo calling. By adding the word calling, it's like wrapping your name in a very, very special wrap. You know how the other, the, the, how, what would be the reaction of the other, the, the reaction of the person on the other line? That person will say, call it. Because really, people use this word, call it. These are not even extraordinary techniques. These are just super simple techniques. That's why I want you to get this book. How to get a yes in network marketing. You will enjoy reading. After all, this is just this thing. Don't take things personally like that. The Dalai Lama said, if you take the criticisms of your fellow human beings personally, you will be offended for life. Right? What they're saying to you is their karma. What you're saying to them is yours. You are only responsible to the words coming out of your mouth. What they say is no longer your control. What you can control is your inner world.
you don't have control here. You're a leader. You must have the ability to face and overcome adversities. Number one, successful entrepreneurs are great problem solvers. So what do you do when you face problems? You grow bigger than your problems. Right? Right? What do you do when you face problems? You go to your outline. Right? It's like, you know, praying is like when you were saying what the things you want. But you sometimes also need to take the time to be quiet so that you can hear the answers. Forgive and forget, always focus on the big picture. Learn to live with people. Can you imagine how boring our world will be? Kung tayo pare-pareho mag-isip. Yung nagtitingin na pala, alam na natin, iniisip ng isa't isa kasi pareho tayo mag-isip. Can you imagine how boring our world will be when we all dress the same? Right? And this is a very simple reminder. Especially for husband and wife. The word opposite makes a lot of sense. Opposite sex. Opposite opinions. Opposite perspective. Opposite of all these many other things. That's why you must learn how to live with people, especially when you choose to be in this industry. You know what's more, what's most exciting in MLM? Would you like to know what's yes. most exciting in MLM? Yes. Yes. Character development. You will meet all types of people, right? The ones who are busy explaining why they're not making things happen, and the ones who are busy making things happen, right? You need to know who you want to be. When dispute occur, work it out and be objective. When you're handling issues, when you're trying to resolve issues, this is for you and this is for you, especially when you're a leader. When you're trying to address issues, stick to the issue. Do not confront the person, confront the issue. Be objective. When arguments arise, listen to one another. Don't raise your voice. Improve your argument. Sometimes I'm guilty. And sometimes my partner is also guilty. And that's how we learn how to effectively deal with one another. One of the, one of the reasons why um, temptations of CEOs. Have you heard of that book? Five temptations of a CEO? <coughs> choosing, choosing harmony over conflicts. There is no growth in harmony. Growth happens out of conflicts when conflicts are handled objectively, not personally. Right? Your people need to grow. You must have a high level of accept tolerance to accept their mistakes. Remember, every master was once a disaster. Right? Every expert was once a beginner. So we all need that room. Give them enough space to make mistakes, to learn from their mistakes. Your job is not to tell them what to do. Your job is to guide them so that they can experience what they call internal realizations. Your people will not care, according to John Maxwell. Your people will not care until they know how much you care. That's just what I'm saying earlier. Before you can expect your people to perform based on your expectations, you must first build this kind of relationship. You know, don't tell me, kanina pa itong bromance ng bromance. Huh? What do you say? Give me the hand. Okay. Builders build for events. Is this an event? Yes! Did you guys build for this? Yes! Tomorrow, the next day after, there will be upcoming events. Yes. You must build for events. Events are vital in the growth of your organization, number one, because it provides you with an opportunity to measure how your organization is growing. Diba yung nakaraang convention is a very good measure 
with the size of your organization? Sa picture taking pa lang sa stage, makikita mo na kung malaki yung grupo mo, maliit eh. Di dapat yung challenge mo, your challenge is to grow your organization so that, so that on the next event, you will see a bigger number. By the way, we have heard that the next convention will be in Macau. Correct! Yes. We are committed to build for that event. We will go up to that event. Who's joining us? Make money. Let's all make money so that we can be there. It provides synergy among teams and relationships with other lines. It serves as a source, like what happened to us, after hearing things directly. That's why I told my people, our first 60 days in Kayani, May 31 to June 31, June 31 to July 31. Right? We are just hearing things from our uplines. We are hearing things from Mommy King from time to time. And most of the time, we are just hearing the words of our founders from the YouTube videos. Right? Last convention was the first time we heard the founders, the owners of the company speaking in front of us live. So I told my people, the last 60 days that we are in Kayari is practice. August 1 is our day one. Yeah, baby! Today, we start officially. So I'm declaring this in front of everyone. When you want to be with me, my vision is to dominate this market, not just here in the Philippines, but different parts of the world. Jackie, Janice, and Alex. Be ready to be pushed. Are you guys up to the challenge? Yes! yes. Show force during events. This is a force. And I think this attendance deserves a big round of applause. Yeah, to, exciting to. Builders and building long distance, it's not the size of the city. It is the size of the leader, Emmanuel. It is not the size of the country. It is the size of the warrior in you. Go! When I first went to Indonesia to build my market, I didn't know a single soul. I flew there with the intention of starting my market out of total strangers. Every time I go to Starbucks and listen to people, when I hear people using English as a language, oh, I can talk to them. Because I can, I can speak and I can understand Bahasa. Hiran speaks three languages. He can understand Chinese, he speaks Bahasa fluently, and he also speaks Nepalese. So when I went to Indonesia for three times, airfare, hotel accommodation, mobilization, budget for food, three times, I almost cried because of expenses. I was not able to recruit a single Indonesian. Fortunately, I did not give up. I said one more flight. I will fly one more. On the fourth flight, I was able to recruit someone who used to be an Amway leader. She was the vice president of one of the biggest financial institutions in Indonesia. From that one person alone, one line, I had 10,000 Indonesians under my organization. But that, that company is nothing compared to the Kayani company that we are representing now. Yes. And I told Upline Kuki and Upline Ron, Upline uh, Kika, I have a good friend like Kiran. He's, I know him for more than a decade. He was the one who brought Zija International to Indonesia. And I, he told me, I told him, brother, for many, many years I'm not disturbing and I'm happy with your building, building your business. I am not going to disturb you. Today it's different. I'm representing a company that will open Indonesia soon. And he immediately told me, my brother, when you're there, I'm there. Together with my good organization. So they're just waiting for us to officially declare that Indonesia is open and the whole list and the whole team will transfer to Kayani. That's 
why I want you guys to think big. When you're thinking big, today you will appreciate. You see, when I attend trainings like this, like this. When I attend trainings like this before, and I can tell you, I said this the last time I was, I was standing here in front. By just looking at you, and I look when I look at your eye, I can already determine who's serious and who's not. You're more than serious. <laughs> right? I am meeting you for the first time. This is the only time I'm seeing you face to face, up close and personal. You are a total stranger to me, am I correct? And I'm a total stranger to you. I have learned something when I stayed in the park. I can predict people's futures by just looking at their eyes. Deal? I can get a guess. I can make a guess. When my guess is wrong, you will have my watch. Right? It's so strong. Right? But you rock now. When my guess is right, you will do whatever it takes to rock up this month, correct? Do we have a deal? Yes. Are you guys ready for this? Yes. yes. Two years from now, you will be two years older. <laughs> Am I correct? Yes. Anyway, what's the point? The point is, we all know the future will come. Yes. And your results two years from now will be determined by the decisions that you will make starting today. And you will only know that you truly made the decision when starting today, your actions start changing. Yes. yes! Isn't it true that building long distance forces you to work harder? Yes! I remember when I was in Indonesia, we built our, uh, we built our own office in Indonesia and my downlines are complaining. The Lexi upline! The traffic here is tremendously bad! That's why most of our people cannot come! The office location is not ideal! And they're like, see, and I was like, how many hours from their place to be here at the office? And they say, two, three hours sometimes. Sometimes it's four when it's really worse. And I said, by land or by air? And then they, of course, by land, Alpha. I am from the Philippines, and I'm here. If I can take the plane to be here, you guys have no excuse to be here. Are you getting my point? Yes. When your reasons are strong enough, then you must have that attitude of whatever it takes. After all, when you truly know what you want in life, you must be willing to pay the price. Whether you do your chaotic business or not, seriously, seriously or not, you will pay the price anyway. Correct. Might as well pay now and play later as compared to play now and eventually you will pay. Either way, you will pay. Am I correct? Yes. When you build your long distance, you become more strategic in your actions, planning, and preparations, or preparing. Good. Building long distance will lead to more referrals and sponsoring from different locations. It will multiply your growth. This is a key. Especially from Especially to the main uplines. <laughs> to the main uplines. When you know you're traveling somewhere, please do not forget to ask your key leaders if they have referrals in that city. Correct. Yeah. Right? One of the most crucial items in momentum building aside from communicating success fast is cascading information fast. Again, it's related to the, the message of our chairman, speed of business. Make sense? Yes! So, if you're going to speak to me, you're going to talk, talk fast. Especially if it's related, related to 
good news or great news? The nature of building a long distance team. Isn't it true? They appreciate you more while your local people sometimes take you for granted? Huh? Too much familiarity at times breeds complacency. Huh? Right? That's why in our culture it's important for us to have that attitude of family because sometimes cross training is more effective. I train your people, you train my people. Because sometimes people take things more seriously if they're hearing it from a stranger as compared to hearing it from a direct upline most of the time. Correct? Yes. yes. They're more eager to learn. They're hungry for information and training. They never seem to get enough. Are you guys hungry? Yes. 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 More? No. no. They're more coachable. Isn't it true that the people from the provinces, when they know that you will not be there regularly, they are becoming more coachable? They become more open to learn? After all, they know the amount of time that you will spend with them is just limited. They're more independent. Isn't it true? People from the provinces, you, they are more independent. They have no choice. They have no one to depend on. Yeah. Right? Just like, can you imagine how difficult it is to build in a country alone? <laughs> that guy. You know, I, I just communicate with him through Viber and Janice and Alice also. I always say, go send a message to Kiran, say hi to him. Just, you know, keep on encouraging him. Because we know. When I built when I started building in the international market, it's, it's not easy staying in a hotel several months alone. And then you're facing, you know, when I was telling you earlier, my target in Hong Kong is 30 names and 30 phone numbers every day. And every single day, I'm experiencing tons, dozens of rejections. You know, I came to the point that I felt like vomiting if what I'm doing is correct or not. <laughs> Nakakasuka na yung rejections araw-araw. But guess what? It developed my character. It made me appreciate MLM more. Now, I can look at people eye to eye and say, I love this game. Do you complain? You don't. If they do, you're not allowed to hear it anyway. <laughs> That's the beauty. Of, uh, they always ask you to come. Do you always ask your outlines to come? They are willing to perform. They entice you with results for you to come back. Am I correct? Uh, they are willing to travel like you because you are leading by example. Are you guys still appreciating this? Yes. Or you want me to just pass this forward and not uh, over this topic anymore? Your local team begins to appreciate you more and need you more. They don't know what they got until it's gone. That's true. Right? Sometimes, your people will only appreciate what you're doing for them when you stop doing it. Huh? Actually, buti na lang, umatend kayo ngayon kasi kung walang attendance, ito na yung buli kong training. <laughs> Your local team becomes more independent. They now realize they can't rely on you all the time. I always remind my partners, and this is what I told my people before. Today, we have to maximize each other's time. There is a day will come that we will just see one another and be. Why do I say that? Because our aim is to explode our team in the Philippines fast so that we can start flying in different parts of the world. But you cannot build in the international market when today you did not take the time to master your business in your own neighborhood. You create more healthy competition. Is that true? That's why I'm saying when the outlines are going to go somewhere, 
they must always ask if their top leaders have referrals because that can create healthy competition. Okay? Oh, Alice. Where's Alice? Why is the flow of this thing not fixed? Uh, okay. hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> the challenge is for building long this time. Tama? You see, in the eyes of a leader, in the eyes of leaders, everyone is a raw material. Am I correct? When you talk about leadership development in the eyes of leaders, everyone is raw material. But leaders must also understand, in order for leaders to have quality finished products, they must choose the right raw materials. It's like Kayani Sunrise or Kayani Sunset or Nitro. Right? Kayani Sunset is coming from the most potent source. Alaskan Sakai Salmon. Right? So, when I say right raw material, you must find out if they're the right people, if they want it bad enough. That's what I'm talking about when I say by just looking at your eyes, I would be able to feel if you're someone who wants it bad enough or you're just here because your boyfriend is still here or your girlfriend is still here. That's why it's like that. Listen to this. If they want you more than you want them, you win. Make sense? Yes. If they want to win more than you want them to win, you win. If you want them to win more than they want to win, you lose. In other words, the people that you are working with, the people that you're investing your time to, they must want it more than you want it. I told you the last time, you know, I am just really fortunate because I have embraced the advantages of having a coach. When I went back to my gym three years ago, I went to fitness first at the Fort BGC. I don't want to work out without a coach, no matter how expensive it is to have a coach, because I know the amount of time I can possibly save when I have someone watching my back as compared to having to experience everything on my own so I can learn. Always remember, experience is not the best teacher. Having a mentor or a mentor is the best teacher. The only challenge is who is your mentor? You must have a mentor. Because if you don't have a mentor, how will you see the things that you're not seeing? Who will push you? Who will guide you? Who will take you by the hand and say, come on bro, let's go, you can do this. Yes. You must have a mentor. Now, when will you consider building a provincial or international market. Make sure that your local network will not fall apart when you build somewhere else. There is a big difference between expansion and diversion. When you're expanding, your local area is growing and you're growing in other places as well. That's expansion. But when you transfer your attention to the other area, and your local area starts to die, that's not expansion, that is diversion. You are just diverting the source of your volume. So before you even think of building somewhere else, make sure you don't compromise the growth of your local network. In Tagalog, wag mong madaliin kung alam mong hindi pa kinok na iwan. 
Sorry for using a local language. I needed to emphasize something very, very important, Emmanuel. Travel only, yan, like what I said, cost. Building long distance is a big investment. That is already a given. Investment of time, money. Make sure you can afford it and make sure you are serious. Right? You know, that's the reason why we love traveling to different places. We love traveling to different countries because there's the thrill. There's the thrill of loneliness. Rejections by total strangers. Sometimes you just don't know if what you're doing is correct or not. But when you're able to finally recruit someone whose family name you cannot pronounce, that's it. You know everything. <laughs> Kiran, when we look at our streaming report, Ronnie, when you look at our report, you will see the names of the people under our network, we can't even read properly. That's how it is to grow an international network. I told Kiran, I'm excited to go back to Kathmandu. He is from Kathmandu. I have been to Kathmandu one time. It was a very, very exciting and thrilling adventure. And I can't wait to fly to Kathmandu, Nepal again. Sooner or later you'll do it. It's just a matter of time. But do not, again, be reminded, do not rush it. If you're not ready in terms of finances, and in terms of knowledge, and in terms of leadership. Again, the easiest thing to do is to open a market. What's more challenging is sustaining the growth of that market. Because when you open a market and you're not, you're not able to sustain it, you carry the name of company with you to go down. That's why you have to be careful. You also carry the name of Team Conqueror with you. Correct. So always connect it to the big picture. It's not just about you. You are part of one solid, one big family. As you grow personally, so you will, be, so your, so will your business. And as your business grow, so will you. Failure in the business is the mistaken belief that you must manage your downlines. You're not a manager. You are. You are. You are a builder. You know. Uh, when I knew the importance of having a mentor, one of my strongest mentors before is, um, we call him the man with several personal, layers of personalities because he's, a, he's like a Buddhist, almost a Buddhist. He's also a Shaolin Kung Fu master. When I went through the mentors, mentorship program with him, I started with 16 of my people, right? After nine sessions out of 16, right? Seven disappeared. They can take it. And I said, I can look at my mentor as the reason why they left, or I can look at my mentor for helping me know who's the right people in my team. Now, let's see. Okay, a few more minutes? Yes. Let's say you want to be a masterpiece. When you say you want to be a masterpiece, you want to be the best version of yourself. You're talking about self-mastery. The new you. Right? When you want to be a masterpiece, let's say you are a boulder. You're a big piece of rock. In order for you to become a masterpiece, there are tons of dirts and things that you don't need that, but that, that must be taken away. So in order for you to be a masterpiece, you need a hammer and a chisel. Am I correct? Yes. But what's the use of having a hammer and a chisel? without the sculptor. I would like you to remember this. Without pains and suffering. You know why? Because you are both the hammer, the sculptor, and the bull. 
your commitment to grow yourself will require you to dedicate yourself to sometimes painful discipline. When I say painful discipline, it's more comfortable, believe me, to watch DVD. It's much more comfortable to watch television sequels. It's much more comfortable to watch uh, Game of Thrones or whatever, whatever. It's actually painful to study when everyone is sleeping. <laughs> it is actually painful to study when everyone is playing. It is painful to study when all of your friends are, go are, are hanging out at night and they go drinking. But you see, the real fun begins when you're living in your dream house, you're driving your dream cars, and you're living the kind of lifestyle you want for yourself and for your loved ones. 